I don't know. I think I'm starting to look more like Kenny Rogers. You know Kenny Rogers, the country singer? <laughs> I need white hair though, but oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Here we are. Day, what is this? Day 11? Day 11. We're, we're getting close to halfway, y'all. And I'm ready to shave this sucker off. I tell you, I don't like having facial hair. In, for two reasons. I don't like the way it feels on my face. My kids think it's weird. <laughs> they, they're like, let me touch. And then they recoil immediately. And then I see myself in the mirror sometimes. And I'm like, who is that old guy? Who is that old man over there? I was at a barber shop, like an old school barber shop with my youngest, like the type where the barber chairs still have cigarette, you know, have ashtrays in the arms, you know, from the fifties when you would just be puffing away. And I was sitting there and my son was getting a, a haircut and I was sitting and behind the barber, are these big mirrors and you can see yourself sitting in the chair. And I, I had a baseball cap on cause we just gone to a little league baseball game. And I caught a glimpse of myself from a distance in a mirror. I was like, God, Lee, that guy looks old. Oh well, oh well. None of us can escape it. You just gotta, you gotta be okay with it. Huh? <laughs> oh boy, all right, so let's shave today, shall we? We're gonna shave up here and down here. We're gonna shave with the Mula R41, which a lot of people say I should shave this thing off with, and I think I probably will. I'm gonna use this. I got a fresh feather blade in there, one of the most aggressive razors in the world. And uh, today, <laughs> I'm gonna, I went into my old bag of tricks and I'm pulling out the old palm olive tube of shaving cream with palm extract. Palm olive, get it? I haven't used this in a long time. It was sent to me a long time ago by a, by a great viewer out there whose name eludes me for the moment. And then uh, we're gonna use my Sinatra Lennon signature brush, which I think you can still buy on AliExpress from DS Cosmetics. So without any further ado, let's do Let's do, let's just do. So I took a shower, did my hair. I don't know what's, I'm doing something weird. You know, every now and then I, I'm doing it and then I just stop and I was like, ah, it's good enough. Good enough, close enough for jazz, as they say. All right, so, you know, I don't like to uh, bowl lather. I like to face lather. And the great thing about having tubes of shaving cream like this, get your brush wet, first of all, and then I kind of fluff up the end of it so it'll have a place to, to go. And then I just kind of put it like, like toothpaste. This is probably too much, but you know, err on the side of caution and put a little bit too much, then, you know, better too much than too little, I guess, sometimes. You can always add more water. All right, so then I kind of smoosh it around. And these are all technical terms. Smoosh, uh, what, what was the last thing I said about the brush? I don't know. Anyway, smoosh it around a little bit. And then, oh man, I almost, I'm so used, let me get it some more water on here. Let me readjust my, my towel down here. All right. I may have put too much water that time, but that's okay, because I got a lot of soap. This stuff smells really good. So if you've never tried the palm olive in a tube, it's very good. It's got a good, clean scent. Um, it's very similar in scent to the palm olive shaving stick, which you've seen me use before. And I was looking through my bag of giveaway goodies, and I was like, well, I haven't used that in a long time. Let's go with that. I was going to do a, a peppermint thing from... Uh, from Taylor of Old Bond Street because we got a huge cold front coming through today and it's gonna get real cold. It's gonna drop like 30 degrees. So I will be using a very cold thing for the aftershave, but I decided on the palm olive. All right, here we go. Mula R41, one of the most aggressive razors out there. It's not for everyone. It's not a very comfortable shave. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, it's, it's not a comfortable shave for me. Like right now with a brand new feather blade in there, it's that, that didn't feel good. Like with all of my other razors, I don't feel anything when I shave with them. You know, I don't feel like tugging or anything, but I'm getting a little bit of tug with this one. And I'm not sure why. I mean, it's common sense would dictate <laughs> a very aggressive razor with a very sharp blade would just slice right through it. But for some reason, I'm feeling it and I don't like it. Mula R41. Oh, the legends have told of the Mula R41. And here I am, boys, to tell you that they're all true. All of it. The mighty R41. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, so I think I might. Now, my skin, you know, if you let your, if you grow a beard for a while, your skin gets used to uh, not having sharp steel dragged across it as happens when you shave. So 
My skin will be very sensitive when I shave this off. Oh, poor boy, poor skin. So I'm a little nervous about using the R41 to shave off the beard, but I think I will because last year I used the, uh, the Gillette 1918 and that's a pretty aggressive razor. It's not aggressive as this one, but it is. All right, there's pass number one. Just making a mess, just, just shaving cream in my beard, making it look even whiter than before. She crossed between uh, Kevin Nealon, Better Call Saul, Santa Claus, Kenny Rogers. Those are some of the, oh, Nicolas Cage, I get that a lot. It's just the giant forehead, that's why. They all say, you look like Nicolas Cage shaving. <laughs> it's like, well, hmm, I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Oh well, I'll take it, whatever it is. All right, across the cheeks. Yeah, you know, I've been using the beard oil and that's really, really helps, but it still gets itchy. And uh, I know there are several viewers out there that are big beard buffs. You like that alliteration? They are pro beard. And they want me to keep my beard or to, you know, just let it grow for a year. But man, I just doesn't agree with me. So I can't do that. I'm even uh, tempted to just shave the the strap, the, the side, you know, strap things on uh, and just have a goatee. Let me know what you think of that. Would that be, um, would I still be the master of my domain? <laughs> if I did that, if I just went down to a goatee, that would make it more manageable. But I don't want to wimp out. I don't want to be that guy. Let me know in the comments if you think that's wimping out or if that's cool to keep the goatee and shave off the chin strap. All right. Let me get this stuff out of my beard here. But yeah, my kids are both fascinated and repulsed by it. Well, my wife is, uh, has not mentioned anything because she's a good person. <laughs> she did early on say, oh, are you doing that thing again? And I was like, yeah, I am, I am. But I will tell you this, I'm not gonna do it next year. This is enough. Two years in a row, that's fine, that's good. And uh, there's no way I'm just growing a mustache like for Movember. So this is it, folks. Enjoy it while it lasts. And I'm going to try to make it last until December 1st. Still haven't quite figured out what I'm going to shave it off with. I should just use Barbasol, right? Barbasol and an R41. I went gimmicky last year with the uh, whipped cream. Maybe I'll just use a regular old simple shaving cream. Would that be all right? Let me know in the comments. Would you be disappointed or would you understand? I will take it all under consideration, as I always do. But I will be using Scotch whiskey as an aftershave on that day. So there you go. That's my gimmick this year. A little Scotch whiskey, a little bit for me, a little bit for my skin. It does the body good. Now we'll be using a, uh, a single malt, not a blend. Probably if I still have some left in the bottle, by the end of November, I'll be using the Springbank 10 year, 10 year old scotch that I have downstairs, which is a fantastic single malt from Campbelltown or Campbellton. I still can't remember it's which one of those, but it's great. It's a little bit peaty, just tiny bit, but a fantastic handmade in the old school way by a small distillery that does it all by hand. I mean, they don't have any computers. They don't have any, it's all by hand and chalkboard and, and, and labor, you know, making malting the barley and everything. It's fascinating. Why is that so fascinating? That kind of stuff. I don't know. Learning about things is good. Learning, have you ever watched those shows, how it's made, all that stuff? It's great. Even if it's not a subject you're necessarily really interested in, it's always good to learn something. You know, broaden your view, expand your mind, as they say. All right. Oh. Dry it off and get a, a beard itch in while you're at it. And I do shampoo my beard. When I do my hair, I just shampoo my beard as well. So I don't know if that helps or hinders. <sighs> Let's put some of this cold fusion on. The coldest, and I, I, you know, I haven't tried the fine snake bite yet, which is also a super mentholated aftershave, but this stuff is probably more mentholated than that. I don't know, I haven't tried them both side by side, but, cause this thing is insane. It's it's too much. It really is too much. It's almost not enjoyable, but it's just right on the verge, you know? That's why I still use it. All right. And the tingle you get afterwards is worth a little bit of the eye redness and, and watery 
you know, the tearing up that it's going to give me in a minute. Oh, I can't wait for that cold front to come through. Oh yeah. Turtleneck weather. It's turtleneck weather. Or as you say in the UK, polo neck. Polo neck weather. Do they wear those when they play polo? Do they wear turtlenecks playing polo? All right. Beard oil time. Now see my, if I start to get all squinty eyed, it's because the, uh, the menthol is kicking in. And here's what I do. I do this on my finger, turn it upside down, just get it, you know, a little bit of oil and then just rub it in. I'm being generous with it. I know you don't need more than a couple, but I just, I just dread having that itch, you know? Oh my goodness. So I probably use a little bit more than I should, but it's my prerogative. I can do what I want to do. Thank you, Bobby Brown. <laughs> Showing my age, singing Bobby Brown songs from the late eighties. All right. I got to work it in there past the whiskers into the skin to make sure that, oh man, that menthol is making my eyes red and watery, but oh, it feels all oh, tingly. Love it. What is that? That's weird, isn't it? Why is that a positive thing? Why does my body respond to that positively, I wonder? And my mind goes, yes, yes, more of that. Whoops. I don't know, weird physiological something or other. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta, Kleenex, Kleenex. Oh, I always have to do this when I use this, but I still use it every now and then. Oh man. Pardon me. <laughs> All right. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Piece of Kleenex. All right, so that's it, I think. We, we're we all done up here, down here. I, would, I cannot wait to do this. Cannot wait to get it done. Cannot wait to shave it off. Can't wait for you guys to, uh, to see it. Haven't had a live hangout yet, but I should. I should. I really should. Just we've been busy, and then I've been tired. And psh, excuses, excuses. Come on. Get with it, boy. Oh, only had one tiny little nick. That's good. The Mula R41 didn't get me this time, so there you go, there you go, yeah. I'll be giving this away after that shave. After I shave it off, I'll put together a package of what I, hey, that's a good idea. See, <laughs> see, you can tell how well planned these are. That's a good idea I just came up with. Uh, I'll, whatever I shave with, whatever products, like if it's Barbasol, this, uh, you know, aftershaves, whatever, I will give those all away when I shave off the beard. How about that? Let's do that. Okay. So try the palm olive in a tube. It's good. If you can't get the palm olive stick, if they stop making it, this stuff is very similar, just in a different form factor. Okay. That's enough blabbering from me. Have a good week, everybody. If I don't see you before then, then I will see you on Friday. I'm going to go have a cry. See you. Bye.